Alana here from teachtraffic.com and in today's video I'm going to be talking all about Google ad extensions. You might be wondering what are ad extensions, what type of campaigns do they apply to and how do you install them in your Google ad account. We're going to be covering all of that in today's video. So if you like this video, I would really appreciate if you hit the like button and also subscribe because uh, that would obviously really help our channel. So let's get stuck in today's video, which is, as I said, all about Google ad extensions. Now, typically ad extensions are only really applied to search campaigns. You can actually do them for display campaigns, but the majority of your ad extensions are applicable to uh, your search campaign. So they're the text ads that show up on google.com. And to sh first explain what are ad extensions, essentially they're kind of as they sound, they are an extension to your ad. So they are in addition to the text ad that you're running and they are sort of appended around the ad in various places. Okay, so they're not the same, they're not to replace your current ad, they are in addition to the current ad that you are currently running for your search campaign. Okay, so to show you, I just did a Google search myself really quickly. I did uh, Electrician Bondi, which is a suburb in Australia, which is where I am. And we can see, just to show you what the our ad extensions look like, uh, you will see this first one does not have any ad extensions on it. The second one does. So there's a phone number here, as you can see. Uh, so that is a, a call extension. They've also got down here these links below. So they are site link extensions. So they're clickable and they go to different places uh, on the website. So you can't make these site link extensions to be to go to the same place as your main headline. And also, I just went to the Google Maps in a different tab, and you can see here there's an ad. There's, there's two ads here, and they are location extensions that they've enabled in their account as well. To show you a um, different search query I did, I did a plumber Bondi. Uh, once again, call extension shown up here, but these site links look much better than these site links, don't they? these ones because they have added in a description below um, their the name of the site link so that's what it looks like when you actually have the description enabled which looks much better obviously um, and yeah so that's basically uh, what they look like here's another example dentist Sydney uh, call extensions enabled and yeah so pretty self-explanatory so how do you enable these in your account I've gone into uh, my Google ad account here and I've gone to a search campaign. I don't have any ads running, so that's why this red bar is across the top. I went into a particular ad group and I've gone to extensions. So you need to actually go into your search campaign, go into the ad group and then go to uh, under ads and extensions, you go to extensions here. Now I've already got some that have been created already, but if you've got none, it, it won't show these obviously. And you just hit this plus icon and this will bring up all the available ad extensions that you can run in your account. So that's not to say that you should run all of them. Uh, I do like to run as many as sort of as possible. Google actually like you using ad extensions because you generally get a better click through rate and when you get a better click through rate on your ad that gives you a better quality score and with a better quality score that lowers your cost per click. So generally good things happen when you enable your ad extensions. So I do like to do it. So just to show you real quick, if we look at the site link extensions, if I click on this first one, uh, so that would be uh, these ones here, right? And here we can see, um, yeah, so you give your site link a text. So this is the site link text. As you can see, a preview shown up here. And then these are the description line one and two and uh, that you put in as well as the final URL. So as I mentioned earlier in the video, your final URL cannot send people to the same place as the main ad is sending people to. And that's because Google doesn't want you sort of having multiple um, bites of the, of, of the cherry, kind of, you know, sending people to the same place. Okay. Uh, so you got to think about where that 
the main ad is sending people so that you don't send people there. So a classic kind of site link might be an about us um, page, right? So you wouldn't really send uh, the main ad traffic to an about us page, but you might want to do a site link uh, to it. And then you obviously link to the uh, about us page here. And so you can create up to four. Um, Google wants you to create um, at least four, but sometimes they don't show four. So I've, I've seen instances where they've only shown two, in which case they will mix and match. Uh, and obviously these have got character limits as well. So you can't put in, you know, if I go over the character limit, I've got tw it, it won't let us run these site links. Okay. So yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory adding them to your account. You can also create site links at an ad group level at a campaign level or an account level. So if you don't really want your site links to change depending on what keyword you're bidding on or what campaign you're running, you might want to add it at an account level. Or if you want different site links for different campaigns, then by all means, uh, you can add them at an ad group level or at, at a campaign level. Okay, so it's pretty self-explanatory there. Don't worry so much about these site link URL options. That's for like sort of advanced tracking. And these advanced options down here is, you know, you can get really funky with it in terms of, do you want to, you know, just show on a mobile on certain days of the week or hours of the day? I generally just run them um, standard. Yeah. Uh, so there we have it. So I'm just going to cancel that. And if we go here, there's call out extensions, which are non clickable. So if I click on this, you'll see um, that you've got a character limit of 25 characters and you can say this is the first call oh, call out and you can see here um, this is the next one this is the next one and you can see that they are just you know shown up here and our site links are there okay so that's uh, also pretty self-explanatory and there are a bunch of structured snippets might be related to different types of um, sort of, I guess, service catalogs or, uh, you know, you, if you've got a travel company, you might want to put different destinations. So come up with destinations here and then you might, yeah, Paris, um, London, you know, etc. And obviously you change courses, you might do like that. So obviously find what category you can add in here. Uh, you can generally, for most types of businesses, find one that fits most most people so types might be the right if you can't find the one that's applicable for your business uh, so that's also pretty self-explanatory call extensions a good one uh, that's obviously got the phone number here so we're a big fan of call extensions location extensions you've got to link your google maps to your um, google ad account to then show the ad in the map and uh, these sort of lower ad extensions probably aren't applicable for most types of businesses. So the main ones people will use are site link, call out and call extensions and maybe structured snippet. So go ahead and implement these in your account. Uh, they're free to implement and so highly recommend doing it and you should see an increase in click through rate and hopefully quality improvement in quality score and a reduction in cost per click. Thanks so much, Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the like button button and I'll see you on future videos. Cheers.